Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna go through some more cheaper dupes. Today we're gonna cover some mascaras and lipsticks. Mascaras are kind of like the low hanging fruit, so I'm just gonna combine the two into like one episode and just be done with it. Okay, so the low hanging fruit, the mascaras. So I actually have a couple of them that I'm gonna compare for the, uh, between the two. So first off, we have the Dior, Dior Show uh, mascara. This one, I actually got the sample of this. I have hit the full size. The full size goes for $40 Canadian on the Sephora website. It's a very nice mascara. It's actually recently been rated by like celebrities as well. So it's a, it's a very decent mascara. But price tag, $40. Whereas the Maybelline, we got the Falsies one. This one goes for $16 Canadian and sometimes you can even get it on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart for like $11 You get like $5 off which is great for those of you who don't know Shoppers Drug Mart is kind of like the CVS or like the Walgreens of Canada The two of these, you know, $16, $40, we all say know which one to choose but why she would pick them I actually have both of them on right now the Dior one on my left side and the Maybelline one on my right side except it's gonna be hard for the camera to see I don't know if you guys can even see it um, I have very short stubby lashes unfortunately when putting them on I do notice that both of them give me very like a great amount of volume and even extra length it's supposed to kind of like you know, like imitate like you wearing falsies. Obviously it's not gonna be the same as you wearing falsies and especially when you have short stubby lashes like me, it's gonna be tough anyways. So they're both the same, look-wise. They both look the same, they both have the same color, you know, it's, it is like the black is a blacks. Just to compare them, this one, like this is what the applicator actually looks like. It also smells very nice. Just like most Dior products, they all have a very pleasant smell to it, very fragrant. It might be a little bit strong for a lot of people, um, which is the downfall, but for me, I don't mind that at all. The Maybelline one, this is what the applicator looks like, so it's kind of like a scoop type. You see that? And this one's got a, it's almost like a, it's like a, like a, like a ballpoint pen. You know, like uh, when you like write it and you smell the ink, it, it almost smells like this, but just slightly more fragrant in this. I really think you're just paying for the name, for the $40 on the Dior one, because you're gonna get the same thing. And I'm also kind of just saying that too, because like they're both long wearing. Like this one claims to be 24 hours. I think this one's like about like 16 hours. They both last all day. Um, and it only comes off when you want it to come off. But when you do take it off, it just it feels really easy that like you can just use like a makeup eraser cloth. It'll come off. I also kind of looked into it a little bit further. Both these products are not clean. So sometimes, you know, you're paying for a brand, you're kind of hoping it's like cruelty free, it's vegan free, or like it's made of like vegan products, um, or that, you know, it's free of like parabens, etc. But both of these are the same. They both use harsh chemicals. So either way, um, when it comes to that, you, it's better probably just to go for the Maybelline one. And so my full opinion, don't pay the 40, just pay the 16, get this one. It is a lot cheaper, it does the exact same thing. And you're gonna be going through mascara like well, like every six months because you're gonna throw them out anyways. Let's do lipstick next. So I got a couple of like the more expensive ones and then we also have like the dupes that, you know, like that is gonna be cheaper. So I got the Rouge Dior by Dior. Um, th these are refillable, which is actually a really good thing because then, you know, like you can just keep the case. And the case is just so gorgeous, like most Dior stuff. And these ones go for 55 Canadian dollars. These are not cheap for a lipstick, you know, and you know how lipsticks are. You know, like liquid lips, great, right? There's no transfer. It lasts all day, like the ones like the one I'm wearing currently. But when it comes to like a lipstick, it is gonna transfer, no matter what. There could be a little bit of transfer, there could be a lot of transfer, but it is gonna transfer and you're gonna have to reapply anyways. So literally, you are just paying for the name on this one. Because as mentioned in my last product, um, when I was talking about the mascara, Dior is not a clean product. It's, it is not a clean uh, company. Let's take a look at this one. So I got the shade Deep Brown. This is probably one of my favorite shades. It is buildable coverage. So like the first wipe is gonna be like kind of really sheer, but it is buildable and it starts to look really nice. 
when it comes to the scent, again, it's got like a very nice fragrant smell and when you do put it on, the smell does linger around for just a little bit near the beginning. Again, that might bother some. It really doesn't bother me at all. So I'm just gonna quickly swatch it on the back of my hand here so you guys can all see. That's like the first and then if you just kind of like build it up. So it's like a really nice deep brown. Um, I got this one because like on me, I, I like a very dark brown. It looks very gothy and I really love, you know, like gothy colors. Uh, but it is also considered a nude. So honestly, I picked one of these up during the, uh, the I don't know if you guys remember, last year, 2022, there was a whole Johnny Depp and Amber Turd trial there. So Dior was like one of those brands that just never dropped Johnny. They believed in him and obviously you kind of knew who I was rooting for. So I did pick up one of these. I don't think I was the only one that did that though because I remember when I went on like the Sephora site at the time and even like the Dior site, there were a lot of products that were just sold out at that time that would usually just not sell out. Anyways, a little bit about this lipstick. Again, it is not as long wearing. Um, I actually have used a much cheaper one, which I'm gonna be showing you, that has lasted longer. And it actually feels the same. It's like a very satin finish. Um, this one's a little bit more of like a slightly more of a matte, but it's still got like a bit of a, so it's like a satin matte. So it's not quite matte, but it's not quite satin. It feels nice, you know, like it is like, um, it's got more of like a cushion when you wear it. It's very soft. Unfortunately though, it does start to dry out just a little bit, like kind of like throughout the day. Um, so you do gotta keep applying lip balm if you're gonna be wearing this throughout the day. So that brings me to these guys. So this is from the Sephora collection lineup. And I got a couple of the browns actually. So, so these are like, they're called like hashtag lip stories. They're very cute. If you, yeah, if you just like look at the packaging, I absolutely adore them. This one's got like spider webs so and it's super cool. So they're very similar to this one, to this color. One's just, I think one's slightly lighter and one is like intense. So I think this one here is called, so this one's the intense brown. And this one doesn't actually have a name. It's just called Capricorn. Um, I'm not a Capricorn. I did pick up one that's like Taurus. Um, I, I'm not really into like astrology and all that, but just you know, just for shits and giggles, I picked one up anyway. So these originally cost $12 on the Sephora site. However, saying that, every time I go on the site, there's always a sale for like these little lip stories. And I see them go on for like $6. And if you wait for like those like Sephora sales where you got like an extra 30% off on Sephora collection products, so that's $6, 30% off on top, which is kind of what I did here. So it makes these dirt cheap and they are actually phenomenal for the price. I actually think that it might even be better than this Dior one. Shoot me if you will, but I think it really is because they wear very well. They smell just as nice. It's got a very nice fragrant smell to it. It's very fruity. More fruity smelling, but not like, not any particular kind of fruit, but it does all like, compared to like the Dior one, they both smell just as good. But let's watch this one. So this one is the intense brown. So I'll just watch it on this side here. And this one is a matte finish. You don't actually, this one is a uh, very opaque. It doesn't really go on sheer, unlike the Dior one, but it's kind of, it's quite close to the, Dior one in shade. In my opinion, I think because of how opaque it is, it does stay on your lips a lot longer. It's also, it feels really nice and comfortable on the lips. It's not like drying when you put it on. It just glides right on, which is very nice. It doesn't drag. Again, kind of like the other one, it does start to like dry out like throughout the day if you're wearing it for a long period of time. So you will need a little bit of lip balm in between um, reapplying the shades. Just a bit of an FYI as well, like the this like the top part is actually made of paper, so they're quite light. Um, although they might get squished in your bag, but on the inside here, this is like a plastic, so it's not that bad. And this one is the here's the Capricorn one. Again, same same shade, and I'll just 
do this on here so you guys can see. So as you can see, they're very similar in color. I know these ones say it's a matte finish, but they look more satin. I mean, it's very similar in color. I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference if you're just wearing like the one shade. Like you wear, you wear like this shade and then this shade the next day. Nobody's gonna really notice the difference because they're just so close to each other. It is a dark brown no matter what. When it comes to these comparisons, definitely the Sephora collection compared to this. And you just can't ignore the price tag, $6.00. $55. Yes, I know these are refillable, but I think the refills still go for like $45 or something like that. So I got a few more lipsticks here just to kind of go over. I'm going to be comparing MAC and NYX Cosmetics. So I decided to go for more of like a berry color for like these ones, whereas like for the last ones I went with the browns. So let's compare um, some of the ones I picked up. So I got two MACs. Uh, one is called Media. And the other one's called Studded. And as we all know, MAC cosmetics, like MAC lipsticks, I absolutely love the smell. Like, I just love that creme brulee smell, like, so much. I just can't stop smelling it. Ah. <laughs> but anyways, let's not get carried away. So this is Media. So I'll just, just watch it below here. The first one. That's media. It's like a more of like a berry color, right? And then I also got studded, which I will also swatch for you guys. And I just I just love like the shape of these little guys. They're just like little bullets. Let's swatch this one. So this one's more of a red. This one's definitely more of like a brick red, whereas like this one's got more of like a berry tone here. And this one's more of like a brick red. And just a bit of like a background on MAC lipsticks, these um, they go for about $27 and they come in about 30 shades. Again, they're very nice, they smell nice, they go on and they stay on very comfortably. They do come off so you do have to reapply them just like all lipsticks. But like with MAC products, unlike all the other ones that we've covered, they are clean. They're cruelty free, they're made of, they're free of parabens which is actually a very good thing. And also, I don't know if you noticed when I put them on that they are actually very super pigmented. They don't go on sheer. Um, they're all like buildable, but like they do go on very, you know, like opaque as well. Uh, so that brings me to my next one, which is the NYX Cosmetics one. Um, this one is called the Shout Loud Satin Lipstick. So it's the same finish. These two are also a satin finish. And so is this one. So I got the shade Opinionated for this one. And this is what it looks like. And I will also swatch it for you guys. And also just to mention the smell. <sighs> it was like, it's like a pina colada. It's very, it's very coconutty, but it's also got a very tropical smell to it so it's, it's definitely it's very close to a pina colada and almost oh my goodness it makes me want to just go back to like puerto rico and just grab another pina colada because they just make it so amazing there uh so i will swatch this off for you guys between side two so these three are very similar as you can see but it is mostly similar to this one it's almost like a mix between the two it's almost like in between so like it matches these two, but if you put it side by side here, it also matches the other one. I'll do that. Tight. Yeah, like they're very similar, right? So like, that's the NYX compared with Media, and here's the NYX compared with um, Studded. So like, they look almost the same, which makes this a very good dupe. And these are only $10. So 10, only seven, I'll probably pick this one any day. I have worn this and I find that it actually lasts longer than these ones. Something about it clings onto my lips a lot longer than the other ones. It's great and it's very soft, it's moisturizing. It does start to kind of, it doesn't actually dry out my lips as much actually with this one. Whereas like this one, 
really depends on like the days I find. Um, there are days where it dries me a lot faster and there are days where it really doesn't. I think it just really depends on like the condition of my lips. But if I were to compare these two, these ones is actually a lot more moisturizing than this one. I think with NYX is that it's not fully clean, but it is kind of like there. They're almost there. Like they're kind of clean. So like they do make their products with like, you know, like paraben free but then there's also like products that they use in their product in like their cosmetics that is not like fully clean so like there's still some harsh chemicals mixed with it so I guess they're halfway there you know whereas like MAC is already there these guys are really not that concludes our episode here if you guys want a you know like a cheaper dupe now you probably know what to pick. If you want MAC, go with NYX. If you want Dior, go with the Sephora collection. Sephora collection, I actually also forget to mention that it is just really good. Like they have a lot of fun colors as well. Like they have like, you know, so like, you know, like your, your classic colors, the reds, the pinks, the nudes, but then they also have like fun colors. They have like, um, I see, I saw like a green, a blue, like I really like that kind of stuff and you know compared to like a lot of lipstick and being how much they are, it, it makes it way, um, you get more bang for your buck that way in my opinion. And then when it comes to the mascaras, definitely Maybelline all the way, they have amazing products when it comes to, like, when it, yeah, like with mascaras, just go for the drugstore stuff, like this. Sure, it's nice, and you get to say you use Dior on your eyes, but mm, this is the one. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button, and stay shiny.